Hi, I'm Kat from livinginbelgrade.com, and you're watching the fourth part in a series titled Why Belgrade, where I'm talking to people about why they have chosen to live in Belgrade. And today I have with me Ralph van der Zieden, uh, who comes from Holland and is now an entrepreneur here in Belgrade. Hello, thank you for Hi. joining me. It's great to have you. Thank you. So I need to know first, why did you even come? Why was Belgrade on your radar? Why did you first come to Belgrade? Well, I, I'm from Holland and I've always been interested in uh, Eastern Europe uh, okay. as a kid already. In 2004, I had the chance to go to, uh, to the Balkans for the first time and uh, I was in Belgrade and, uh, as, an in, as, a, as an internship. Uh, okay. I did an internship for an NGO. So oh, okay, okay, that's how okay. I ended up here. And um, I, well, I really fell in love actually and coming here more and more often and making friends. And uh, okay. um, yeah, I, I came here for professional reasons uh, first and then uh, later for holidays as well. Um, getting more friends, getting to know more people. Uh, and I spent so much time here that at a certain moment I thought, Come on, let's you know, let's move here because oh, right. you know every time I was in Holland, I missed uh, Belgrade. Missed and, Belgrade. Uh, yeah, that's so, so interesting. One of these trips, I remember, I was going back from uh, from the city to the to the airport, uh -huh. and I looked back over my shoulder from Branko of Most, and uh, I really totally fell in love. I don't know, you know, it's I cannot explain it, but I had these butterflies in my stomach oh. and. Just from the city, really the city, and uh, right, you didn't fall in love uh, with yeah. anybody. It was the city. It was the city, yes. <laughs> to be clear, you know, and uh, yeah, and it's really hard to have a relationship with the city. I noticed, but uh, <laughs> well, at, at the end, I, I moved here. So wow, so yeah. that was in two thousand four. So you have uh, been coming here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I moved here in two thousand or well, last year, two thousand eleven. But since 2004, right. I've been you coming been, here. You have been yeah. coming here. I really want to work uh, here. And I had some ideas to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to work for myself. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, Belgrade has a lot of uh, opportunities. I think it's, it's really, you know, great to, to start something here. And it's, it's not that hard. And there's a lot of things that are, you know, missing still. And um, it's easy for me to just actually copy ideas. I, I think I see that work in, in the West, you could say, uh -huh. or in Holland. Okay. And to start them here, there's still so many opportunities for that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, what are what are these things that you have uh, started here? Um, well, I started with the bike tours. Mm -hmm. uh, every time I used to come here uh, for work uh, in the past, um, and I had some time off, uh, I would hire rent a bike here and to bike down the rivers and yeah. to New Belgrade. Yeah. And that's a really nice uh, way to go through the city, actually. Interesting. And in every city where I used to go for holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, I would used to do a bike tour, to a guided bike tour, mm. to see the city and discover the city. Okay. And uh, you know, in Budapest, in Paris, in Barcelona, everywhere I would go, I would go on these guided bike tours. Yeah. And it was missing in in Belgrade, and uh, I thought, well, you know, I need an excuse to go <laughs> and live here, you know, <laughs> and I want to do something. Yeah. And this is a very positive uh, way to you know to show Belgrade to people you to create employment for my people who work for me, the local mm -hmm. guides, mm -hmm. um, and to promote biking, actually, because uh, I yeah. think there's, you know, Belgrade is a great city, but it could do with a little bit less cars and traffic and... Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, so... It's a uh, healthy lifestyle that you promote. Exactly, exactly. So it has all these positive sides and, uh, and it's working. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how did you even start it? I want to start really small. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So I don't, uh, didn't start with, I started without any, having any bikes. Mm -hmm. uh, I rent them from, from Marconi, the bike uh, rental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, actually the basic thing I did was make a website uh, uh, printed flyers, brought them to the the hostels and the hotels, oh, and cool. uh, started to to wait on the street for clients. Very, I mean, that was uh, as of first of May last year, and uh, well, you know, we were having bike tours until October, yeah, so to say. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm still I'm waiting again for the start of the season, but I already right. have uh, about 400 or 500 bookings, you know, really for, for the coming season. So that's that's great. So did you actually lead the tours yourself at first to begin with? Um, yeah, uh, so I had, before I came here, I had this tour in my uh, mind. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking very hard about the name first, and um, it became I Bike Belgrade, which, yes. which I thought was yeah, yeah. Well, fitting, you know, yeah. um, because I was biking Belgrade and I want everybody to bike Belgrade. Right. And um, actually, um, I was doing everything myself. Uh, but I really want local people to do the tours because who am I to show Belgrade to, ah. 
oh, to okay. people. That's my idea behind it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And it's really great to have these young people showing their city. My guides tell a story. And, yeah. And, um, yeah, their own story of the story of how they experienced the, the, the 90s, for instance, which is sure. an interesting period. Absolutely. A lot of tourists don't know about that period. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but as soon as somebody wants to know anything about some building or a statue or the history, my guides know. We have a great team now. I'm involving them really much, really a lot in the development of the whole company. You know, their ideas are always welcome. Um, and actually, we started a new company in this this winter called yeah. uh, the Nightlife, Belgrade Nightlife Academy. Yes, yes. And that came that. from my guides. Uh, you know, they said, "Well, we want to work in the winter too, but there's no bike tours. Right. What can we do?" And we came up with the idea. It actually, came from them. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Well, you yeah, know, and like talking price. with them and what, what can we do? Price and uh, really one of my guides already took some of the people on the bike tour on the night uh, tour ah. as well. So and that worked out really well. So well, together with them, I really you know started uh, set up everything so okay it's one of my the one of my goals as well of the company uh i bike belgrade is a socially oriented company okay so you know i'm not i didn't come here from for the money because as i would stayed in holland where i had a good income yeah. house yeah, everything right, right, right. uh yeah. so um it would be nice if at the end i can make some money but the, the main reward for me is uh, well working with these young people teaching yes. them you know how to work yeah teaching them uh, yeah, some standards uh, mm -hmm. how to work with foreigners tourists mm -hmm. um, but also the bigger goals are to uh, inspire people yeah. uh, because i see a lot of people here in, in belgrade in serbia in the whole region they all want to leave uh, yeah. their country yeah. um, because they think it's yeah, really bad here there's a lot yeah. of corruption or they have all the different reasons uh, to leave, um, and I think it's better in, in other countries, mm -hmm. mainly in the West. But uh, I think it's not 100% true. I understand when you live here, you get tired of some things right. at a certain moment and you want to leave. Uh, but there are opportunities here, and yeah. uh, that's also what I try to show by coming here. You know, I say, okay, I start something very simple without any resources, and just by being a little bit different than the rest, or mm -hmm. creative and persistent, just doing it, mm -hmm. you can reach a lot, I think. And yeah. uh, so. That's one of the yeah goals behind my that's coming fantastic. here and uh, yeah. That's that's I'm sure inspiring to the people yeah. that have heard the story and know you. Well, they call me the most the nicest boss in Belgrade, Aww. which is yeah a big compliment, you know. Yeah. I don't know if they mean it, of course, <laughs> but I guess you'll yeah. take it. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it anyways. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> no, I have a good, really good contact with them. Uh, contact with them yeah. and. Um, also, yeah, I think it's also you know part of the uh, part of the business, you know, to really show them how a boss can be or, you know, how a company can work, you know, yeah. that, and give them responsibility and mm -hmm. all these things maybe that are not uh, really standard in, sure. in the working relations in, in, in Serbia, I think. Yeah. Now, okay, so now with the uh, nightlife, it's called Belgrade Nightlife Academy? Yeah, yeah, that's the second. Uh, I didn't plan that, but uh, yeah, it's, it's great uh, to do that as well. And it's, it's going uh, well? We, yeah, we started it in like two weeks you know because I had a company already I had my guides uh, we had the knowledge we could just you know start uh, nightlife tours uh, mm -hmm. I went to a lot of bars talked with my guides talked with a lot of people okay what do we want to do with this yeah. kind of tours yeah and um, important for me the same as with iBike Belgrade mm -hmm. with the night tours um, I don't want to make it a standard uh, thing okay. with iBike Belgrade we go to uh, new Belgrade we don't necessarily show the most pretty parts of Belgrade but yeah the most interesting yeah. and the same uh, is true for the nightlife tour so we really yeah. want to take people to places they won't find themselves and yeah. also show them that they're in belgrade and not in another city you know so the, the special things about belgrade the yeah. cabanas the right. dancing on the tables the <laughs> rakia all these things together make make it a special experience yeah. and especially the people's yeah so what is uh, what would you say is the most frustrating thing or what is what is maybe like a mentality that that you've noticed that is kind of frustrating um well, I noticed there's a mantra going on, you know, with people here mm -hmm. that uh, if something is not possible, you know, they keep on saying that, yeah, and, you know, and if you say it long, long enough, then something is not possible. And uh -huh. especially I noticed that because I started these bike tours, right. which everybody thought would not be possible, you know, you were cannot, you cannot bike you in Belgrade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What people were telling yeah. You? and okay. well, the most, you know, I was standing on the street one day, you know, waiting for people to come on a tour and I yeah. had some people who were going to have a tour with me. And yeah. One Serbian man came to me, you know, on the street, we were having a talk. Uh -huh. And he really said, what, what you do is not possible. <laughs> you know, he, in so many words, he told me. And, well, he saw that I was doing it. Yeah. And he still said it was not possible. Not in a cynical way or something, but a bit Just angry, you know, upset. He said, it's not possible what you do, you know, listen to me, stop it. 
you know, so, something like that. Wow. So, yeah, you know, people are really blind for, for some possibilities and opportunities. Yeah, I, I have this, well, I learned it at school sometime, I think, and uh, uh, it was about this, uh, this story about uh, um, a shoe producer, um, and he sent two of his uh, salesmen to Africa to see if okay. there was a market, and uh, one salesman came back, he said, well, there is not any market, you know, in Africa. Nobody wears shoes there, uh -huh. so we cannot, you know, sell our shoes there. And the other one came back and he said the opposite, you know, like, man, we should go to Africa, you know, nobody's no, wearing shoes. <laughs> so, you know, that, that first, uh, that first salesman, he, he's, he's, you know, ex yeah. a good example of, you know, a lot of people in Serbia, yeah. you know, like, okay, you know, nobody does it, nobody you know, nobody it, wears so shoes, so, right. you know, we cannot, you know, change that yeah. but you know you can change things yeah. and um, yeah oh, especially oh, here you know especially there's a lot of if you start small like me i think you can change a lot yeah. well good luck with um this you know the continuation of your business yeah thank you I'm, I'm excited i'll have to come and do the tours yeah. myself of course, of course. <laughs> thank you for joining <laughs> me again today you're welcome and thank you all for watching make sure to check out i bike belgrade and uh, belgrade nightlife academy and stay tuned for more information on livinginbelgrade.com. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.